Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So let me actually go and steal something over here. What I'd like to do is kind of go over how to draw in a best fit line. Now um, there's a way that we're going to kind of estimate how to do the best fit lines, but this one's all about estimating to begin. So when I kind of identify in the best fit line, you know, there's a, a couple, a lot of different ways to kind of estimate and there's really not a right or a wrong, but basically when we're creating a best fit line is we want to be able to create a line that's going to best represent the data. And so to kind of do that is we're going to want to kind of choose a line that's going to kind of represent the data the best. So obviously, you know, a line like this does not represent the data, nor like this, nor like that. So we want to be able to kind of place our line somewhere in between our information that is going to create um, a, a kind of pattern of the movement of our data. Now, one thing kind of a rule of thumb that I always like to think about is I always try to, you know, you always kind of want to keep the same number of points below and above the line. It doesn't have to be exact because obviously their distance from the best fit line is going to kind of affect how accurate that best, that best fit line is. But usually it's just kind of a, um, as a way to kind of think, uh, to go about it. I always try to, try to get at least plus or minus, you know, one or two points, um, a best fit line with the same numbers above and below. And then I also kind of look at, you know, where, where is their kind of information, you know, the distances between all of them. And then I just kind of drew, do my best. Now some of you might argue and say, oh, it should be a little bit higher, but you know, again, we're just trying to, this is all about estimating the best fit line. Um, again, the same thing you can see as these are kind of coming up. So I might look at a best fit line. Since these are kind of higher up over here, I'd maybe go a little bit above. Okay, and you know, maybe I could have tilted that down a little bit. Um, but it doesn't really matter if it's a positive or a negative correlation. Uh, basically, what you're just going to try to do is try to get your line, you know, in between the most amount of values and about equal distance from, you know, all these points uh, above and below. However, when you have a line that, ha or when you have a, a scatter plot that does not have any correlation, then we cannot draw a best fit line because this one has no correlation. So there's really no kind of pattern we can follow with the best fit line into draw one. So therefore, we'll just say no correlation. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you estimate a best fit line. Thanks.